Oh, here's a good one of Roger. That's his mischievous look. Uh, Roger and I met at Penn State. We were both uh, worked in the dining hall. It was very romantic. I had to wear long, white, ugly outfits and hairnets. And he was the counter guy. He brought the mashed potatoes in, and I served them. Well, he was a paratrooper, so he was well built. And uh, to have him come down with a disease that took that away was awful. Roger fell and broke both of his legs and his back right after we moved in here. I realized after three months in the nursing home that I was going to need some help to take care of him. We sat down with Roger and Susan to get an idea what it was that they were looking for. Roger and I, we just started talking, and I think that's when I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna like this. I thought, this little woman isn't gonna be able to take care of my husband, but she just walked in with such confidence and made me feel comfortable immediately. She took over as the lead caregiver. It really allowed Susan the opportunity as his initial caregiver to become Roger's wife again. We just formed a bond. How, how, how does that happen? It did. It didn't even feel like I was at work because of how comfortable him and his family made me feel. It was really something to watch the three of them evolve as a family and take care of Roger. Whatever they were bouncing to me, I was bouncing it back to them, you know? So it was just pure love. She's compassionate, she's funny, she's caring, she's loving, she's natural. Some people are born with it, and Kay was a professional caregiver. Thank you is, it's such a little word, but it's huge. I mean, three and a half years of, three and a half years of Roger's life and my life were made better because of her. I couldn't have done it without her.